Well, praise the Lord. We're back with you once more again here at Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Well, we are very much appreciate you um, uh, joining us in each one of these uh, teachings. Amen. We pray and, and believe God that, that, that these uh, teachings are enriching your life, blessing your life, and causing you to walk in the uh, knowledge of God. Uh, that he has for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we ask you as always to please hit the subscribe button, the comments, the share, and the like buttons. Amen. What you're doing, you're continuing to helping us to present and promote the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world. And it's the only gospel, the only good news that has the power to transform a person's life into the image and likeness of God's son, Jesus Christ. It's the only good news, the only teaching that has the power to transform you into the image and likeness of God's Son, Jesus Christ. God's desire is for you to be just like Him through Christ. Amen? All right. Well, we're gonna uh, still talking about the biblical reasons the Son of God appeared. We're looking at the biblical reasons of the Son of God appeared. Not man-made reasons, not opinions, not thoughts and ideas, but the biblical reasons the Son of God, who is Jesus Christ, appeared, came into the earth realm. And our foundational scripture is 1 John 3 and 8, reading from the New Living Translation, verses of the Bible. You want to read that scripture, sweet God? Amen. But when people keep on sinning, mm -hmm. it shows that they belong to the devil, mm. who has been sinning since the beginning. Mm. But the Son of God came to destroy the works of the, the devil. devil. Amen. Amen. You know, you Ooh, know, that's sweetheart, good news. that is, that's good news. <laughs> you know, sweetheart, if people understood, if we, if we keep practicing sin, what we're saying, we're making a statement. We're declaring to God that we don't believe that Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. That when you can, when we live, when we live a life controlled by sin, mm -hmm. and if you, you know, well, I'm not so bad. If if you're living a life where you uh, controlled by sin, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you're living a life declaring that you don't believe that Jesus Christ came, that God sent him to destroy the works of the devil. He came to destroy the works of the devil. So you need to be very mindful of that and do your due diligence to get into the word of God, get connected with a, a good, accurate, biblical teaching church that empowers you to believe and trust God that Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil, Amen. Amen. his power, his stronghold, his influence over your life. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 All right. So we're gonna, right now we, we're talking about, we're looking at the, that, that what, the, the strategies that the devil uses uh, to work against us, his works, what are the works and strategies of the devil. And we're looking at these works and strategies of the devil. We looked at deception. And we're going to pick up that, the, this, his work of deception. And we're going to look at it and with, and based upon another scripture mm. uh, to understand how he, his, his deceptive uh, ways work. And so we can be aware of We don't have to file a prey to his deception. All right, let's look at um, 2 Corinthians, the uh, second chapter, the 10th through the uh, 11th verse, reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. You want to read that up? If you forgive anyone anything... Mm -hmm. I too forgive that one. Mm -hmm. And what I have forgiven, mm -hmm. if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of and with the approval of Christ. Mm. To keep Satan from taking advantage of us. Mm. For we are not ignorant of his schemes. Amen. Now this is Paul, uh, suit out right to the church of Corinth. Because the church of Corinth was really struggling with understanding uh, the power of God mm -hmm. and understanding the 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 the, the, the um, finished work of Jesus Christ and what He came to do. They 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 couldn't they they had to they had to be taught into this here because they had a lot of misleading religious ideas and thoughts and customs that was controlling their uh, was getting in the way from them really understanding why uh, Jesus Christ was sent uh, to. Uh, into the world, and he was just challenged with that. But Paul was helping them to get delivered from that. And, and, and he was saying, if you forgive anyone, now, we, you know, last time we, we, we dealt with, we, we talked about, where, uh, about forgiveness. It, it, Satan deceives us, but not seeing the benefits of forgiving one another. Mm -hmm. Not holding grudges, not holding a spirit of, being controlled by a spirit of 
uh, malice and strife mm -hmm. and bitterness. We want to walk free from that. Mm -hmm. And 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 see, we have to understand, Satan uses those spirits, those mindsets, those ideas, those behaviors to confine us mm -hmm. uh, where we can't uh, experience the freedom to love one another. That was a good word, confine. Fine, he, he does. Keep us boxed. Restricted, yeah, boxed, boxed in. in, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And restricted. And restricted, mm -hmm. yeah. And we, we were, Jesus Christ came that we, that we would no longer have to live that type of lifestyle. Hallelujah, he came to open up the doors. Doors, set us free. Can, yes, yeah. we can walk right that's out. That's it, yeah, that's it. He the door. In other words, the doors open, but we got to walk out. Yeah. Yes, he can't pull us no, out. No, mm -mm, no, no. We got to follow him out. Mm -hmm. He's calling us. He's, he's he's directing us, and we got to follow his calling and his direction. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, did we read all of that? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Okay, okay. So in, in, in we read the, the 11th verse because I want to look at that. Did we read that, the 11th verse? Oh, down to yes. The, okay, yeah. all right, because we want to look at that 11th verse in that where it says, uh, uh, to keep Satan from taking, this is why he came. We want to go back to that because I really want you to get these understanding why he came. <laughs> Why Jesus Christ came, his reason for coming. Mm -hmm. He says, to keep Satan, to keep Satan, to hold Satan back yes. from taking advantage of us. He has commanded Satan mm -hmm. not to get in the affairs of my children anymore. Mm -hmm. when, when, that's what he came to do. Mm -hmm. the, my, the, I, they, they found their place in me, mm -hmm. they found their, their life in me. Yes. I came to give them life yes. and give it yes. to them abundant. I came to give yes. them a rich and satisfying life. They have the opportunity now yes. with their faith in me to, to live a satisfied life in Christ. Mm -hmm. They can satisfy the Father. Mm -hmm. so, so, so keeping Satan from taking advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. Mm -hmm. and we, he don't, God don't want us to be ignorant of his schemes, Satan's schemes. He, uh, Jesus Christ has revealed Satan's schemes to us. Yes, he he come to steal, kill, and, and destroy. You find that in John 10.10. 10. Mm -hmm. Jesus tells us Satan, his only desire, his only plan, his purpose is to come and steal, kill, and, and destroy. And really what is our relationship with the Father. That's what he wants to do. He wants to destroy. He wants us to live our life where we have a, where we continue to being, have a, Indifference, of, indifference in our understanding of God's will and purpose for our life. We want to tell God how to save us. Mm. We want to tell God how to, how to deliver us and how much to deliver us from. Do it just a little bit at a time, you know, because I can't, I can't stand the full deliverance. But just work with me, Jesus. No, 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 no. You either come, you either, you either receive all of Him, or you receive none of Him. You receive his full act of deliverance. Because he didn't, he didn't, sweetheart, he didn't just uh, take a little bit of Satan's works and powers. All of them. Yeah, all of them. That, that's it, all of all, all of them. them. He, he didn't say, I'm going to take a third of your powers today and I'll come back tomorrow and take another. He didn't, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't do no peace work on it. He did a complete work of delivering us and setting us free. Mm -hmm. And we need to grab hold of that truth. I don't care what religion we, we get involved in. We need to grab hold of that truth. One, one thing you said uh, about uh, him coming to steal, kill, and destroy, mm -hmm. and then you said uh, our relationship mm -hmm. with our Father. Right, right. Because if he can destroy that, hey, that's everything, else, everything, everything else, else is gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. everything, else, everything else comes, comes that's down. It, because that. Everything in our life hey, that's is, 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 is dependent. Mm -hmm. It, 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 it uh, flourishes. Mm. Mm. From the intimacy, the See, fellowship, fellowship that we have with, have with our the Father. Father. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's good. So. Yeah. And, and and that's what God wants to do. He wants us to surrender to uh, Jesus Christ. To th this is a key thought we're going to give. We're going to close on this here. The key thought is Jesus Christ came to stop Satan from taking advantage of us. Mm. Every time, <laughs> every time we allow Satan to take advantage of us, whether we slip do it purposely, whatever. Mm. What we're doing, we're denying the truth that Jesus Christ came to stop Satan from taking advantage of us. Every time we allow him to have advantage of us, and when you sin, you allow Satan to have advantage over you. And that's, you have to, see, if we understand what, we, what sin is all about, get mm. the truth about it. What, when you sin, you're allowing Satan to have advantage over you. You're allowing him to repeat his 
old lifestyle, his old way of living again in our lives. Mm. We got to have, see, we, we, um, we got to get rid of this religious thinking and get into the scriptures and be willing and bold enough to, to deep, to dive into the, the truth of this here. Yes. Because this is what it says, Jesus Christ came to stop. Yes, yes. He came to stop, yes. put an end to yes. Satan taking advantage yes. of us. Every time, if you look at this here, if, if you look at when we sin, we're allowing Satan to take advantage mm. of us, to deceive us. Mm. To, to bamboozle us, to confuse us about the finished work of Jesus Christ in our life. Amen? So this is what, what, what we uh, want you to look at. Amen? The key thought. I want you to take that al along with you. Amen? So uh, we're going to get ready to... Um, you have anything you want to share? No, 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 that's good. Excellent. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get ready to um, end tonight's uh, teaching. We hope that these teachings are designed... You, I want you to have a fresh new revelation. A fresh, new, complete revelation of the reason why Jesus Christ came. He didn't come to make us feel good. He didn't come to make us happy. He didn't come to make us shout. We shout. We rejoice. But it's much deeper than that. He came to give us the Father's power and authority back to give us our Father's power and authority back, to give us dominion, yes, yes. to give us dominion over our adversaries, Satan. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Right now, just, say, just tell the Father, Father, I receive these reasons why Jesus Christ came. I receive them. I ponder them in my heart. I study these scriptures. I meditate upon them. Because I want to be free from Satan's influence of taking advantage of me. Telling me that we can't help but to be a sinner, to live a sinful life. It's in, my, it's in our nature. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're going to go into scriptures that let you see that. You have a new nature now. He came to give you a new nature. That's the reason why he came. He came to give you a new nature. Give you your original nature of God back to you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just right now, where you are, just tell the Father, Father, I receive your nature through Jesus Christ. I, I receive your nature that you destined for me to have. That you have determined through the work of Jesus Christ for me to have. The finished work of Jesus Christ for me to have. I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, well, we want to pray, sweet daughters, and get ready to uh, be dismissed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the finished work. The finished of our work. Savior, yes, the finished King work. King Jesus. Mm, glory to God. We thank you that we are preserved by that work. Mm. We are kept by that work, made mm. whole, mm. fully, fully, fully acceptable. Yes, to yes. You, Father, because yes. of that work. And we mm. praise you. For mm. Glory to God. We praise you now and forevermore mm. for the finished work of Jesus. Yes, we Christ. do. Holy Spirit. Mm. We submit to you. Ooh, Teach us how to, to fully walk. Mm. Uh -huh. How to fully he walk. Love in that finished work. Manifest it. Let it be manifest through us. In us. Yes. Not only for ourselves. Yes. But for Hallelujah. Let others see. Hallelujah. The work of Christ. Ah. Our Savior. Yes. In Jesus, in Jesus name, name we pray. We pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well. I want to ask you, if you would, please go and visit us on our website. The address and everything is on the screen. Amen. We want to encourage you to do that. Amen. We have a lot of information for you, a lot of uh, resources to be able to help to, uh, uh, you to understand the reason why Jesus Christ uh, came uh, into the world. God sent him yeah. with, a, uh, with a mission, and he fulfilled that mission. Yes, he did. He fulfilled that mission. 100%.
percent. 100%. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, he said he wouldn't have fulfilled it if he didn't say that it is finished. Yes. The mission is finished. Yes. It's complete. That's right. Hallelujah. Nothing missing, nothing broken, Thank nothing you, out Jesus. of place. Thank <laughs> you, All he's looking for is whosoever will. Yes, come. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Whosoever will. Hallelujah. And I, I'm, 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 I'm fully confident that you want to be one of those whosoever yes, will. Yes, come. That's it. Come to Jesus. Yes. Come to him. Come to him. Surrender your life to him. Hallelujah. Well, we'll see you next time here at our Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network. We want to let you know we love you. We're praying for you. Yes. We're believing God's best uh, for you to be for you to experience what God has for you in every area of your life. And as always, God has a warm seat of welcome for you here at Dominion Life Worship Center. Come out being a part of these Sunday morning services. You can't miss them. You can't afford to miss them. So come on out and be obedient uh, to God's expectation for you. Amen. And our expectation for you also. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you. We're praying for you. And as we say all time here at Dominion Life Worship Center, Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen.